And we're finally at the beach. I cannot believe this. arrived in Vido di Jesolo. We took a bus from Venice main station and it took us here in one hour 15 minutes and it cost only 4 euros 50 per person. We checked in in our hotel and uh, we just went straight away because we need to find somewhere to eat. We are really starving. So just around the corner we found this amazing pizza. Look at this, it's absolutely fresh and crunchy. So we were really lucky that it was literally like a minute far yeah, from our so hotel and we were so hungry so this is a good treat. <laughs> Gosh that kebab was so big, it was really massive, I'm feeling so full. Francesca did a good job as well. <laughs> Pizza was really good so we're quite happy. And we're finally at the beach, I cannot believe this, I was looking for this moment for probably like a year I think <laughs> because last year we didn't we could not go to the beach and uh, it's so good to be here again so one of the things that bothered us about two years ago when we are we were in Rimini were the prices of the sun umbrellas you know 15 euros I think per sun umbrella per day and then 10 euros per chair so that would be a lot of money for us we stayed there seven days I think that would be a lot of money just for sun umbrellas you know but here, it was amazing that it was included in the price of the hotel already. So we come here, we already have our number and they have these small safety boxes and they give us this tag that you just tag in, you open and you, you lock your stuff when you go for a swim. So no problems. That's a really good idea actually, really like it. Never seen it anywhere else. We're looking forward to go, to the, to go for a swim. I'm gonna go quickly back to the hotel and back here. So I was checking the prices of uh, the hotels here in Lido di Jesolo already for a long time and I have never found anything less than let's say 200, 250 per night. But then this week we found this place that was I think something like 80 euros with breakfast included very close to the beach with the sun umbrella so I think it was a great deal and the room is not amazing so it's in the attic so you can see there's not a lot of space. I cannot fully stand and the, in the pictures it looks like it was not so bad as this but the room itself is all right you know, there is a big bed uh, and the the place is there for for the clothes the bathroom is a little bit older the door is like this i really don't like this it doesn't seal anything <laughs> so if you're alone it's fine but if you're friends or partner it's not really good still here the ceiling is really low and check out this shower. I've never seen a door that it folds like this, the shower walls. I don't even know how this works exactly, but yeah, I guess like that. So I am anticipating that it's gonna flood the whole bathroom. It's not amazing, but for this price, considering this place, which looks quite fancy, I guess it was a good deal. Not even Francesca can stand there. But anyways, we're not gonna spend a lot of time in the room. We're gonna spend as much time as we can at the beach. Because this place looks awesome, so we're really looking forward. Time to find somewhere to have dinner now and apparently there will be some nice live music events uh, so we're looking forward as well to eat something go back there because the stage is behind us it's very near to our hotel so that's pretty good <laughs>
Turns out there is this really nice promenade here that's packed with people, a lot of restaurants and stores. And the only problem on going to a new place is, is that you never know where you're gonna eat. There are so many options. Everything looks great. And then you're like, okay, I just walk a little bit more, a little bit more until you find and then at the end you just go and enter one. And most likely we <laughs> will have a bad luck and enter the worst one. <laughs> Hopefully okay. not, let's see. <laughs> So yesterday we kind of had a big failure in trying to find where to eat <laughs> because we wanted to eat something quick and go back to the concert, you know. But then it took us too long, so we decided to go to the concert and then go for dinner. But we thought that it was going to take 40 minutes and at the end, <laughs> at the end it took two hours <laughs> and we had a blast, it was amazing. But unfortunately we could not find any restaurant open afterwards, so the hunt continues. Also like this one. Fresh. It's a pina colada and it's really like creamy, sweet and sour at the same time. So really enjoy. Really good cocktail. And I got a blue Hawaiian, which I never tried before. So let's see. Recommended by Ever. Lovely waitress. So yeah, oh. this cocktail is really good, and the waitress was really nice with us. Like she came here, she was asking about the microphone, dead cat, you know, because. Looks like a pet or so. <laughs> and yeah, Francisca ordered this non-alcoholic piña colada and mine is a blue Hawaiian, which is basically like a piña, piña colada but with blue curacao. And we're having these drinks before going to the restaurant, so really good, I like it. So we're finally lucky in our restaurant choice. We really had a good food there with the carbonara pasta and my tagliatelle al ragu, which is basically like a bolognese. Very cheap, 750 each. Quite satisfied with our choice today, finally, because we we're so we we're having so much bad luck on that. Seems like lately. the cheaper food is even better. We had yeah. ravioli for 16 euros, it was terrible. Yeah. And now we had the cheapest food ever and it was like super yummy, so I don't even know. Funny thing about Yesolo is that every time we speak English here, they reply in German. <laughs> I think the majority of the tourists here are either from Germany or Switzerland or Austria. And then it's quite handy actually to speak German here if you don't speak Italian. <laughs> Franziska is fluent here in German, ah. so <laughs> she's doing the talks. Thank you. 